The CEO of Google, Sundar Pichai, mentioned the word AI 121 times during his recent Google I.O. event speech. AI, 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 generative AI, 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 which means he mentioned the word AI almost every 54 seconds. I think that's a strong message of where the tech world is going. Hi, I am Porus and welcome back to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and you have turned on notifications so that you don't miss any new tech update from our side. In the recent times, you must have been hearing a lot about generative AI. But what exactly is generative AI? And how should developers use it? And most importantly, how can you use it to excel in your career? If you are wondering about all these questions, you are in the right place. Today, we are diving into the world of generative AI, exploring how it works and how you can use it to excel in your career. Let's get started. Let's start by understanding what is generative AI. At its core, generative AI is the type of artificial intelligence which helps us in creating new content. It can be images, music, text, and even software code. It's like having a digital artist or a writer or even a pair programmer right in front of you. Think of it this way. If traditional AI is about recognizing patterns and making decisions, generative AI takes it a step further by using those patterns to generate something entirely new. It's not just about analyzing data, it's about creating data. Let's talk about how it works. Generative AI typically uses two main kinds of models. The first is generative adversarial networks and the second is variational autoencoders. Let me tell you about GANs or generative adversarial networks in a little detail. Imagine two AIs playing a game. One, the generator, creates images while the other, the discriminator, judges them. The generator aims to produce images that can fool the discriminator into thinking they are real. Over time, both AIs get better at their tasks, resulting in incredibly realistic images. On the other hand, VAEs or variational autoencoders work a bit differently. They encode input data into a compressed format and then decode it to generate new data. This process helps in creating variation of the original input, making it perfect for applications like image synthesis and data augmentation. Now that you know the two main models of Gen AI, can you guess which model is used by tools like ChatGPT, Dolly, and Midjourney? Comment your answer below. And since we are talking about popular Gen AI tools like ChatGPT, Dolly and Midjourney, let me take you through some real world applications of generative AI. Number one, art and design. Tools like Dolly can generate stunning visuals from textual descriptions. For example, you can type a cat riding a bicycle and get a completely original image. Number two, writing and content creation. Models like GPT-4 can draft articles, stories and even technical documents now you can use AI to help you write your next research paper or blog post. Number three, music composition. AI models can now compose music in various styles, giving musicians a new tool for creativity. Now you can make popular rapper Drake sing any Bollywood song. How crazy is that? Number four, healthcare. In healthcare, generative AI can be used to create synthetic medical data for research and preserving patient privacy. It's also being used to design new drugs by generating potential molecular structures. These are just few of the real-world applications that are possible with the help of generative AI. In the next section, we'll talk in detail about how generative AI can help developers. For beginners, experimenting with projects can be the best way to learn more about generative AI. For starters, you can start building these projects right away. Number one, image generation. Start by creating simple, generative adversarial networks to generate images. There are plenty of tutorials available that guide you through building your first generative adversarial network. Number two, text generation. Use models like GPT-3 or GPT-4 to create text-based projects, such as chatbots or automated content generation tools. Number three, music and audio. Experiment with tools like Muse.net to generate music or even create AI-generated sound effects for games and apps. These were some beginner projects that you can build right away. But if you are in the first year of your college, 
and want to learn AI with software development on a deeper level, we have something better for you. Let's hear it from Ankush himself. We have trained more than 1.5 lakh students in these eight years. Thousands of them have worked with bank companies, tech unicorns, and startups across India and beyond. And recently, we have joined hands with Nokri.com, and through this partnership, we'll be able to deliver even better outcomes for our students. Our vision is clear: to guide students to their dream career. Coding Ninja's Tech Varsity is a step in that direction. We are here to support you in navigating the tech world's challenges. In the end, I can summarize it by saying that as a college student, if you are ready to match your ambition of becoming a 10x developer with dedicated action over a sustained period of time, then the Coding Ninja's Tech Varsity program is for you. If you want to know more, join our free webinar today. Generative AI is a groundbreaking technology that's reshaping the world around us. Whether you are interested in art, content, music, or even healthcare, there's a place for generative AI in your field. And especially as a developer, learning and leveraging this technology can set you apart in the job market and open up new opportunities for you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech updates. And if you are a college student who wants to learn more about AI and coding, check out Coding Ninja's Tech Varsity from the link in the description of this video.